Airbus A380 production was seized at the end of 2021, with the last aircraft being delivered to Emirates. Airbus A380 was the largest powered aircraft ever built, besides Antonov AN-225, but Airbus decided to cease production due to lack of new orders and shift in market demand towards smaller, more fuel-efficient twin-engine aircraft like Boeing 787 and Airbus 350. But Airbus 380 can be delivered again as re-engined version, which is called A380neo. Thanks to Emirates' $20 billion investment, Emirates will be major buyer. After watching this video, you will know if the legendary A380 will revive soon. So, why was A380 program officially ended in 2021? Airbus simply wasn't getting enough orders. The market shifted towards smaller, more fuel-efficient twin-engine jets like Boeing 787 and Airbus 350, which fit the growing point-to-point -point travel level. For most airlines, the immersed capacity and higher operating cost of the four-engine A380 just didn't make economic sense anymore. Emirate, which owns over half of all A380s ever built, never stopped loving it. Emirate CEO Tim Clerk is a staunch believer in the A380's unique advantages. He's actively pushed Airbus with designs for reimagined, more efficient version than A380neo. When Airbus reportedly quoted a $20 billion development cost for this A380neo, clock response wasn't just no. It was more like, if you build, we will buy it. Why is this more than just a wishful thinking from A380 superfan? Because Emirate believes the A380, with the right upgrade, is still vital for their business model and the future of air travel. The nail isn't just a minor twerk. Emirate envisions a complete technological overhaul. The new A380 project includes three things. Next-gen engines. Crucially, engines like Rolls-Royce Ultrafan are central to the A380 NEO concept. These engines promise 20 to 25 percent improvement in fuel efficiency compared to original A380's power plant. They're designed to be much larger and quieter and critically compatible with the sustainable aviation fuels. A huge environmental step forward. Structural redesign with composite. The original A380 was designed when composite materials were nascent in aviation. The A380neo would leverage modern composite technology, allowing for a lighter, stronger airframe, further improving efficiency. Passenger experience. The A380 offers unparalleled space, luxury, and amenities like onboard showers and lounges. In a post-pandemic world where personal space and premium experience are even more valued, the A380's inherent advantages become even more compelling. Emirate has already proven they can operate the A380 profitably, and a new version would only enhance that. So, why would the A380 new work in today's aviation landscape, and why does Emirate see it as a solution? First reason is to solve airport congestion. Many major global hubs are slot constrained. They simply can't handle more flight per hour. To grow, airlines need to fly larger aircraft at A380, especially a more efficient A380neo allows an airline like Emirates to increase passenger numbers on a route without adding more takeoff and landings making it a critical tool for gross and congested skies. Second is to enhance profitability. A 20 to 25% reduction in operating costs from better fuel efficiency and reduced maintenance would make A380 new incredibly competitive on high yield, high demand routes. Imagine the boost to profitability 
when carrying hundreds of passengers on an optimized journey. Third is environmental responsibility. This is crucial point. While large aircraft sometimes get a bad reputation, a fully loaded A380 can have a lower carbon footprint per passenger than multiple smaller planes carrying the same number of people. With ultra fin engines and sustainable aviation fuel compatibility, the A380 NEO could significantly reduce carbon emissions and noise, aligning with the industry's push for sustainability. Now for the reality check. Despite Emirate's passion and willingness to buy, launching an A380 NEO project is monumental undertaking for Airbus. Restarting production is complex. The A380 assembly lines have been dismantled, teams dispersed, and supply chains wound down. Rebuilding all of that from scratch is incredibly costly and time-consuming endeavor. The 15 to 20 billion price tag can be challenging also. Airbus's estimated development cost is immersed. To justify such an investment, they would need firm orders, not just from Emirates, but from several other major airlines. So far, that widespread interest simply isn't there. Also, there is a market skepticism. Other airlines remain committed to twin-engine aircraft, convicting them to invest in a four-engine super jumbo again. Even a nail is a massive hurdle. The global demand for ultra-large aircraft like A380 has proven to be niche, not mainstream. So while Emirate vision is compelling, the path to A380 nail is fraught with economic and logistical challenges that Airbus currently seems unwilling to take on alone. Emirate strongly desires an A380 NEO, seeing it as a future of high-capacity, luxury level, fueled by cutting-edge efficiency and environmental benefits. They are willing to commit substantial orders if Airbus bite the bullet on the $20 billion development cost, but the reality is restarting a program of this magnitude without broader airline commitment is a huge gamble. While the A380 NEO remains a dream for now, the, the ongoing demand for the current A380 fleet proves there is a still special place for this giant of the skies. We'll continue to track development on the super jumper front. Perhaps one day, the numbers will add up differently. It takes incredible vision and courage to challenge conventional wisdom especially in an industry as complex as Asian. What do you think? Would you love to see Airbus A380 NEO take to the skies? Well, let us know in the comment below. If you find this aviation future fascinating, hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe for more insight into the world of aviation. Thanks for watching, and as always, safe flight and happy landings.